Lady D. I keep my game tapped. Yo, yeah, I'm so nappy. I'm all big. Cause that be natural. The infamous. I ain't looking tacky cause I keep my game tapped. I'm so pretty. I'm so fat. Hey guys, welcome back to Afros and Baby Hairs. Thank you so much for joining me today. And today I'm going to be doing another nails and design experiment. It's actually number nine. And I am going for a marble uh, type look. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Now on this clip, I am uh, trying to get a you know a pretty legit stamp so i'm just using some of my old black stamping polish i think this is from from born pretty as well but um like i had said before in my last video that this polish was running out so i'm just trying to work with it to get the actual um design from the plate and um, this design that I'm using is on plate number CK24. I think this is from Born Pretty as well. Um, but I'm just working with it to actually, you know, get the actual stamp from the plate. So as you can see, I moved on to my new bottle of the Black Stampin' Polish by Born Pretty. Um, this is the number three. And once I changed the polish, it was a breeze to get the actual um, stamp or the design from the plate, as you can see. So I've already prepped my mat. I've already laid down the base, which is the clear fast dry top coat. And I'm just going to stamp all of these so that I can move on with getting the color applied and the marble effect um, started. So that's what I'm doing, just stamping all of them. Um, I made some, I'm not using but four for my fingernails. I'm just doing four fingernails and four toenails. So I made about 10 of these just to have some extras, but um, I did do my fingernails and my toenails with the marble design on, you know, selected nails. So yeah. So the first color that I'm going to be applying is the Wet n Wild Fast Dry Nail Color 243A. I want to be a Vermillionaire. So this is the first color that I'm going to be using. I do have some isotone to clean my brush in between uh, colors or if I have any mistakes. So make sure that you have some isotone available and this also helps to keep your um, your bristles on your brush straightened and pointed so that you can get a pretty intricate uh, application. So I'm just going to use this color on each one of the decals um, and then I'll move on to the next color.
Also guys, like I stated before, please stay in the lines. And once again, this is reverse stamping. So you have to remember that when you're adding color like this, when you're getting, when you're getting ready to put it on the nail, it does have to be flipped over. So yeah, make sure that you're staying within the lines as much as possible so that um, your actual end product will be seamless and it will look more professional. So just remember that you have to flip this or flip these decals over to apply them to your nails properly. So I just wanted to add that in there so that you will keep that in mind as you're creating your decals. Now um, I'm just continuing on with this I want to be a Vermillionaire color which is like a, a dark orange. And like I said, I do um, go ahead and add the color to each and every one of the nails before I move on to the next color or each and every one of the decals before I move on to the next color. That way I won't be continuously switching back and forth between polishes, but to each its own. So in a minute, I'll be moving on to the Wet n Wild Fast Dry um, nail color 242A don't be so coy and this is more like a peachy color you can use as many colors as you would like I just wanted to go with the actual black from the stamping polish and the orange and peachy color so So once you have completed painting all of your decals, make sure that you seal everything in with your fast dry top coat and this will um, create the decal. Um, you do want to layer this on pretty thick so that it doesn't smear your colors and give it an opportunity to completely dry before you, before you try to apply them to your nails. It takes about maybe 30 minutes. Sometimes I allow mine to dry overnight, but in this case, they probably dry for 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes, and then I apply them. So it is a fast drying top coat. So this allows the polish to dry a little bit faster, but to ensure that it is completely dry, you know, I will give it about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, 24 hours, you know, whatever, you know, you think will be suitable for your you know situation or circumstance um, I do think that the more polish that you add to the decals the longer that it will take to dry so just keep that in mind um, and if you're applying like other types of um, details any type of uh, art or glitter or you know stones or anything like that to your nails you know just keep that in mind as well so now I'm applying the nail polish to my nails I did want to paint my nails um, and the actual nails that I put the black polish on is the nails that will have the decals the other nails will be just painted so that's the look I decided to go with I wanted to mix it up a little bit give some um, creativity to my nails you know um, I could have done all of my nails uh, with the decal but I decided not to I just wanted to, you know, play around with the designs a little bit and see what I could come up with. But you can do whatever, you know, is appealing to your creativity or to your personality. 
you know, to each his own. I'm just giving you an idea and showing you what I came up with with this particular experiment. Hey guys, I'm back and I just want to apologize for how I disregard you guys when I'm filming. I just get so caught up in what I'm doing. I don't realize that you're not able to see some of the steps that I'm taking. So I do want to apologize uh, about that. Um, like I said, I'm just so involved in what I'm doing at the moment that I don't uh, realize that you all can't see what I'm doing. But um, I will work on that in the future to make sure that I am making it uh, a little bit more visible for you guys to see. So I just wanted to add that in, but um, right now I'm just placing the decals on the nails that um, I, I painted black. So I'm just cutting it to fit the actual nail and then uh, getting the excess off with uh, actual uh, isotone as well as uh, adding the top coat the fast drying top coat to seal everything in So yeah, this is a fast drying top coat. However, you may need to still 
uh, get under your nail dryer to make sure that your nails are dry all the way through. The top coat dries pretty fast, but the other layers of polish may not be dry that fast. So I would suggest sitting under the nail dryer for at least 10, 15, 20 minutes, however long that it takes. So basically I am done. I think I did sit under the nail dryer a few more minutes after I finished filming. But yeah guys, uh, this is how it's looking. And I did add some pictures. But um, I do want to thank you guys for tuning in today. I really appreciate your time and energy. I hope to see you guys on the next video. Peace and love. And as always, be blissful. DJ, DJ Mike, C. Mike C on the track. Cause there be natural, lady D. Tech you, I keep my game tackle. Yo, yeah, I'm so nappy and mo be. Cause there be natural, the infamous. Ain't looking techy, cause I keep my game tackle. I'm so pretty, I'm so fat, boo, I'm so nappy. It's like a little taboo. I'm so filthy, got the tattoo, fucking these bitches like I own rap. Boo, on my business with my platoon, give me minutes like I'm a top. Y'all is jerky on that cartoon and I'm sitting on top of these bubbles. I'm so 